Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at the SQL Server lag function. It simplifies the self-join. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's do this. Before we dive deep into the lag function, let's see where it probably came from. Well, back in the old days, we probably would say from data D1 left join the same table. So left joining data, data, same table. The only thing of interest over here is line eight. Notice I'm saying D1, the first one, line four, the year minus one equals D2, the year. So notice I have to kind of go back and then I would say 1970, 1970, but they'd be off by one. Now that is what gives us this null value. Notice in the lag, we get that same null value. Now what we can do is come up here and say, I want to increment by one. And by one is the default value. I hit execute and notice that I still get that null value. Now, where does that null value come from? Well, the year before 1970 was 69 and 69 does not exist because of this negative one. That's why I'm thinking this lag function is built on the self table join. And these are the results. Notice in the lag function, this takes three arguments and notice we're only using two of them. If we use the third one, we can make this null go away. Notice this null really means there is no period 1969. So if we come up here and say comma zero, that means for all the missing data, the values will be zero, but we can do better than that better than zero. Let's do something. Notice here the percent change algorithm. So it's new value minus the original value divided by the original value times 100 will give you the percentage. So here you can see that I'm taking uh, the new value 0.397 and the original value 399 and then I'm going to divide it by the original value 399 and that's going to give me a percentage. So let's see what happens here. Notice this tells me that there's a decrease of 0 0.005. So 1% would be 0, 01. This is less than 1%. So what we can do is subtract that from this value and then let's use that as our value. So notice we're going to replace the zero with a little math and now we're saying item cost minus item cost times 0.005%, that will be the new cost. Let's uh, run this and see what happens. So notice now that our price is 397, the previous year is 395. So it did go down by 0.002 cents. And there you have that lag using all three arguments. In this example, notice that I've used lag one time and then two times. And notice on our first lag, I computed the null values and I'm timesing it by 0.005, you know, half of 1%. And then on the second lag, I'm going to go back and time a full 1%. So you can see here that the period before here is uh, 483, which is this value. And two periods back is 4512. So let's go down to 64. The previous period is 61, 62, 1, and the one previous stat is 601. So you see that this works. And there you have the lag function. The lag function is just the opposite of the lead function. You know, one before, one after. It's not a big deal. Now you have the skills, no one to implement it. I also showed you how to use that self-join. Self-joins are still used all the time. So think about using that as well. And I appreciate your support. Thank you for subscribing, leaving comments, and of course, uh, giving me that uh, thumbs up. See you in my next video. Have a good week.